Video cast number 63, sanitary conditions and camp clean. There's an old term I've heard called camp clean. Camp clean is something I try and impart to my scouts as they work with food and generally work in the outdoors, which may not have dedicated sinks, dishwashers, or even hot water available. The general philosophy is you start out before you go into the outdoors with clean dishes, pots, pans, and utensils. You don't just clean up on your Sunday morning, put your kitchen set back into a box, and leave it that way until the next time you go camping. No, you take it home, you hit it with some soap and hot water, you make it sanitary for the time between campouts. Even the stove should get wiped clean of the accumulated grease. It's one of the reasons I fastidiously take the coffee pot home from the adult patrol box. I really want to get that one clean. A good pot of coffee is important, and a leader that gets sick on a trip because of a dirty pot is an avoidable inconvenience for everyone. My wife particularly is very susceptible to illness because of dirty coffee pots. Another aspect of Cam Clean is keeping yourself as clean as possible outside. Understanding that, well, you're outside and you will get dirty. This translates to not rolling around in the mud or dragging your sleeping bag along the ground or having dirt bomb fights and even being thoughtful on how many pots and pans you use to cook a meal. Understanding that whatever you use, you're going to have to clean. In my troop, as many, we use the three bucket system, where you have three buckets set up with water in each. The first bucket has hot water and soap. This is used to remove any particles of food and degrease your pots, plates, and utensils. As you might suspect, since there's not running water, you're going to want to encourage your scouts and adults to scrape their plates first before putting them into the first bucket. The second bucket contains just hot water. It doesn't need to be as hot as the first bucket. I usually use half hot water and half room temperature water, but there's no soap. This is your rinse bucket, and it will remove any soap and wash away any remaining residue. The third bucket is the sanitized bucket. This bucket contains cold or lukewarm water and a half a cap full of bleach. When I say half a cap, I'm really talking about a few drops of bleach. This will kill any remaining bacteria, but it's not enough to taste or smell on the kitchenware. To prepare for cleaning up, it's always a good idea to put on a pot of water as you're sitting down to eat. This way, the water is ready when you're ready to clean up. You're going to want to save anything greasy for last, including your cooking pans. And those I tend to wipe out first with a paper towel. As an added bonus, you can take the greasy paper towel and use it to start your fire, which will keep it out of your trash. But this is what works for us. Take what you like, leave the rest, and as we say in Woodbedge, Feedback is a gift. Leave yours below in the comments with all the hope we can learn together. I'm Scoutmaster Dave, and this was a bit on sanitary conditions in the outdoors.